In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up your table of contents. Now we're going to force our readers um, to use our table of contents. So there's one thing we have to do before we even get started setting up our table of contents and that is um, in the transitions tab you can see you can advance slide on mouse click. Well, we're going to take that out. We're going to take that ability for your reader to, to actually click and go through. Um, because we want them to use your table of contents. So what I'm going to have you do is go down to your second slide, click on it. I want you to scroll down. Now I'm just rolling my mouse um, mouse wheel down. Click on your last slide, 7. Hold down Shift and left click and what that does is it selects all those slides. Slides 2 through 7. And then if you weren't on the Transitions tab, click on it. And on the right hand side you uncheck on mouse click. So what that does is they will actually get into a slide and they won't be able to get out. Okay, and I'm gonna there's gonna be another step in order to let them out. Okay. So our first step is to take away that ability. Okay. Second step, go to your go to the insert tab and you're gonna come down and you're gonna go to shapes. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a shape that I can basically create my hyperlinks in. So I'm going to create one that's long enough for for all of these. Why? Because I'm going to make a copy of this. I like this, you know, I like this size right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to copy and then I'm just going to paste. Now when I paste, I'm going to use this paste option right here. Okay? You can see it's going to come right there. And then I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to have five totals of these. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? And I'm just going to quickly pull these down. I'm going to have them going straight down the page. Okay. So you can see that you'll have see those guidelines that just showed up. So I'm going to use these specific guidelines. You can see that now they're equidistant apart. So let the computer do the work for you. Okay. I'm going to drop it there. Okay. Now you're not going to see any cursor right now. Um, but if you just, it's selected right now, so if you just start typing, and I'm going to use caps here, you'll see that you can type in each one of them. So now I'm just going to go down and I'm going to do hobbies, or if you want, it's big enough that you can do hobbies and interests. Totally up to you. Go down to my next one, and I'm going to do um, stranded on island, and then favorite vacation. And what do we have? We have goals, and then I'm going to use in six, oops, not the dollar sign, and successes, and then credits. Now the cool thing here also is if you go up to, well, let me see, let me make sure, you can either right click on this, so if you right click on each one of them, you can just go to fill. And I'm going to change these colors. So I'm going to leave this one the same, but I'm going to go down to this one and I'm going to right click and I'm going to change this one to red. And I'm going to go and fill this one in with green. Just so it kind of sets all of them apart. This one, that's a little darker than I want. Just go yellow. I'm not going to use yellow because I don't want to change my font color. So I'm going to go with orange. And give me one more purple. Purple's a good color. Okay, so now I have them all here. Okay, I'm set up now. Now the thing that we need to do is we need to link these to all of your um, different slides. This is very simple. Okay, so all we do is we come up and you see how my cursor changes. So it goes from four directions to my up and down cursor. You're just going to highlight, bring your cursor over to the middle right click on it you'll see about halfway down it says hyperlink click on that left click on that and now you get into this and I'm like holy moly what am I supposed to do here well over on the left hand side it says link to and it says place in this document so I'm gonna click on that and you can see all of your slides come up so I'm on my I started with my hobbies and interests and all I need to do is go down single click on hobbies and interests you'll see that that slide comes up so you can double check that it's correct and press OK. I'm going to do the same thing with stranded on island. 
So I right click, I go down to hyperlink, stranded on island, that's the correct one. Okay, so I'm just going to go through, highlight, right click, hyperlink. What was I on this one? Favorite vacation. Favorite vacation, goals and successes, right click, hyperlink, goals and successes, and then my last one, credits. My credits. Now if you've done this correctly, I'm going to go up to slideshow and from beginning. I should be able to left click and it takes me in there. And I should be able to, maybe I'll just go to favorite vacation, I click on it and it takes me there. Now, guess what? I'm stuck in there. I can't get out. Okay, so we need to provide a way for your viewer to get back. Okay, so this is also this is also an easy thing to do. So I'm going to go down to hobbies and interests. Now we're going to create a little um, home icon. Okay, now we're going to go back to insert right now, and we're going to go to shapes again. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom. So from the left, one, two, three, four, five. See the little house. I'm going to get that. You see how my cursor changes? My cursor changes to a plus. Now I want you to put this home button somewhere that it's going to be on every single slide. So if you have text down here, if you have a picture on one of your slides, you can't put it here. I would suggest one of the lower right or left you know, corners. But I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag. Okay, And you see that house comes up. It automatically is set to hyperlink. Okay. So we don't want to go to the first slide. It says hyperlink to first slide because then we need to click and it would take us, it would take us back up. Oops, it would take us back up to our title slide, and then we have to click to our table of contents. So I want you to click where it says first slide. And we get to choose where we want it. So we're going to go to down to slide dot dot dot. And now it gives me it gives me all of my slides, all seven of my slides. Well, I'm just going to choose table of contents and I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to press OK again. And you can see it's hyperlinked to table of contents. I press OK. Now this is linked. If I tried it, I'm going to try it for you just to show you. So favorite vacation. Did I, I did not go to my favorite vacation. Sorry, I'm going to go to, I'm going to try that again and go to hobbies. So I go to hobbies, I come down. And this should take me right back to my table of contents, okay, which I have to use. Now, we don't have to do that same thing for every single slide. All you have to do is you're going to copy and paste it. So please follow me here. This is kind of important because if you do it wrong, it's not going to be hyperlinked. If I click on it, left click, and then right click, it allows me to copy. I'm going to go down to my next slide, slide four, and I'm going to right click. Now, if you use the left paste option, it puts it exactly in the correct corner. If it puts it right back in the correct corner, you've done it correct. If it puts it right in the middle, you've chose the wrong paste option. I'm not even going to show you the wrong way. I just want you to do the right way. So I want you to use, again, this paste option on the left hand side. So you just go down to the next one, use that paste option, go down to the next one, paste option, and then your last slide paste option on the left. So if I go to any one of these now, it takes me in, favorite vacation. Now I don't have anything in there yet, but it allows me to get back. So you see when you're done, it allows your viewer to get in and also come back. And that's what we need to do. So again, that's how you set up your table of contents with hyperlinks.